Michelle here with Tony. And today we are going to be taste testing individually packaged chocolatey chocolate milkies. Yes, made vegan. Um, these are great to throw on lunches, like make ki makes kids feel super normal and adults have fun like kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, and a bunch of different vegan brands or just brands that carry vegan options are mm -hmm. coming out with these. So we figured we taste them and see which one our favorite is. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately we only bought four, but there are lots of them. So there are. You can tell us your favorite too. Yes, definitely. Um, shall we start with silk? One of the most yeah. common. This is an almond milk. Okay. Always shake them. Um, Ooh, and they have a little cute straw. Yeah, these come with the. Ooh. That one's the only one with a straw, so they get well bonus points, but extra pack packaging uh, and plastic. So. Yeah. Paul would be upset. Oh, but these have a plastic top, so this is actually mm, probably less plastic. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Um. <laughs> Do you want me to poke it? Got it. Okay. Um, look away if sharing a straw bothers you guys. <laughs> okay, may I? You may. Please do. Mmm. Tastes like melted ice cream. Mm -hmm. Tastes like warm milkshake. Oh, yeah, these are all warm. These are, yeah, they were in the refrigerator, but they didn't get super cold, not for very long. Um, really good. I've had that one before. I love it. It's almond based. Um, they call it a dark chocolate. So mm -hmm. a tiny bit. It's a dark, yeah, it's a, it's a darker chocolate situation. It's very sweet. If yeah. you like sweet, you'll probably like that. Yeah, I imagine all these are going to be, but we'll see just because they're chocolate milk. But okay, what's next? Almond base, maybe? Almond breeze. Okay, this is another almond based. Almond base. Base. I just love that they have all these cute options. Even though they're not the most sustainable, eco-friendly, it just makes you feel so normal. I like the silk better. Mmm. I like them both. Yeah, I might like the silk a little bit better. It's. I feel like this one's a little bit less sweetened. Yeah, that's what I kind Let's of like about of, it. Oh, let's compare ingredients. Almond milk. Okay, this one has water, almonds, cane sugar, Cocoa, calcium carbonate, potassium, sodium, <gasps> salt. What? 18 grams, 18 of, grams sugar of sugar in one container. And this one's 21 grams of sugar. Wow. Holy moly. Yeah. Oh, but gosh. It is a dessertish drink. 100 oh, calories, 2.5 grams of fat, blah, blah, blah. This has 50% of your vitamin E, 25% vitamin D, 45% calcium. So it's loading the nutrients in there. That's something. If you're gonna have ice cream, it's like having a bowl of ice cream. Maybe I wouldn't. Give I wouldn't them drink a, like a third of it. Yeah, yeah. Or or be an adult <laughs> and decide. Yeah. Um. I was a. Uh, I was reading an article about how other countries laugh at the United States because we consider yogurt a breakfast food, and yogurt oh, has way more sugar than even ice yeah, cream sometimes. So, yeah. This is just like standard American <laughs> yeah. situation here. I'll find my story later. I have a story about sugar and breakfast. So this is, this ripple. is ripple. A lot of people think it says nipple, but no. It kind of does ripple. look like it says nipple. Cow's milk comes from a nipple, but this, in fact, comes from plants. Way more appetizing, right? <laughs> Eight grams of protein in this little little thing. That one's my favorite. Not my favorite. It's thick. It's really thick. Very thick. It's good. Thick and creamy, and it doesn't have the soy taste or the almond taste. Guess how many sugar either. grams? Oh, I read. Oh. 17 grams of sugar. Uh, this also has 45% calcium. It's got iron, vitamin A, vitamin D. So they're taking these kid-friendly foods that are loaded with sugar, but they're also loading them with nutrients, so that's something. And just Ripple's a very accessible brand. These little snack packs are brand new for Ripple. And you can get them at Target or mm -hmm. Whole Foods. Yeah, they come in little four packs, and just the design is beautiful. I give them points for that. <laughs> but it's thick. It's um, it's a little different. It's different. Yeah. It's I have related. never had this brand, and uh, they are by far the most sugariest. 
They have 25 <gasps> grams wow. of sugar in this little dude. Um, Rebel Kitchen is a newer brand. I think they started in a different country, but they just recently started coming to the U.S. a couple years ago. They're a, a much smaller company. Um, I believe they're vegan. Like, all their products are vegan. And... I've met some of the people that work for them, and just there's a lot of heart and soul behind the company. I haven't tried this product though. Okay. And this is coconut based. Coconut. Coconut with chocolate. cacao. They, this company also makes like coffee milk drinks that are all vegan. Gosh, I wish I had tasted it now first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. I don't know how many You can't spit, spit it, it now. <laughs> That's not good. I yeah 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 no. What is wait, in there? Wait, 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 let me try again. You know what? It's gonna be like the yogurt. The more you eat it, you start being like, mmm, this is good. It has something weird. It's like alcoholic it's or cacao. something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So oh. it's very Oh my god, dark look how chocolate. clean this is though. Spring water. Coconut milk, which is coconut cream and water. Date nectar, cacao. That's it. If you like cacao, All, or a bunch of organic. That's your jam. If you like cacao, and now that I'm reading the ingredients, like if I see something that's yum, that's uh, supposed to be something yummy, and the ingredients are way clean, versus these have like tons of ingredients in them. So I do give them lots of props for that. And that's really clean. Ugh, I'll try it again. Yeah, do it. It's just like bitter chocolate. It caught me off guard because I had tried those, which were, there was no bite to it. Mm -hmm. And when you're eating like cacao nibs, it's a, it's a raw bite, you know? That's what you get. Yeah, I could. Okay. <laughs> All right. I would, I would work on my taste buds to start to like this. But Except the sugar that has 25 levels grams of sugar. is That's out just of control. Too much. Yeah. Too, too much. And there, that was the only, I would have chosen the unsweetened option if there was one in there. It's not. Yeah, I'm, a lot of the chocolate milks you can't find unsweetened, But even, But well, you can make your own. Have. Just take cashews, water, and co cocoa powder. Blend them up. Or you can take, a, um, you can take your favorite non-dairy original unsweetened. beverage, unsweetened, and use our video, which we showed people how to make chocolate milk. Oh my gosh, I forgot we did that. <laughs> yeah, that was a Mexican hot chocolate, mm -hmm. and it was like thick and decadent, so good. It was good for like a winter, mm -hmm. a cozy winter um, beverage. But okay, so what's your favorite of, of them? <sighs> ingredients wise, ingredients wise, I'm gonna have to give it, give it up to Rebel. I think that's awesome. You might give it to a different one, because. For me, the for, sugar, it's like... For I mean, taste, I think... I thought I liked this one, but I think I like this one best. I like Silk Almond Milk the best for taste and Rebel for ingredients. And props to Ripple for being super high in protein and nutrition. Oh, yeah, I forgot Ripple. Yeah. Mm, Ripple's really good. Yeah. I All right. I like those two the best. Those two. Okay. We like the opposite ones. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, now you still have to go try all of them and see what you think. <laughs> we were no help at all. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching. Drop down below what vegan milks or chocolate milks you love. Um, or if you like to make your own, let us know what your process for that is so we can give it a try. We have lots more of these taste tests coming for you. Um, if you want to keep seeing them, let us know below what you want us to taste test, and we can definitely make that happen for you. I want to see us make pizza. Like all <laughs> of the vegan pizzas that are frozen. The frozen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still have to do mac and cheese. That's probably coming up soon. Um, yeah. But let us know. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out everything Tony does over at plantbasedonabudget.com. Com. Yes. Which I forget to say all the time. <laughs> uh, the link will be below and you can find a lot more videos and more at worldofvegan.com. Be sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you want to support this channel and uh, hit the bell if you want to get updates when we post new videos. Thank you guys. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.